Hey guys, it's Tracy. I want to share with you how to import a printable or clip art or Google image into the Silhouette Cameo. Okay guys, let's get started. So in order to do that, you have to save those files somewhere. You can save it in its permanent location or on your desktop. So once that is done, you need to have your Silhouette Cameo open. And I believe you need the Designer Edition to do, do this, but don't quote me on that because that's the only edition that I have. So what you want to do is go to File, Import, Import to Library. And because I've been to this file location before, it automatically comes up. So I want to give you a tutorial on shoe number 22 because in the beginning of December, I had created three shoe files and Deborah Thomas asked me if I would do a tutorial because she purchased the file. So what happens when you import it in, it comes up in my own design. So once it's there, you want to double click it. And then you can close this. And then I can close that too. So now here is your image. But we want to, and those shoes that, the cards that I made the beginning of December, they were foiled. And that's what Deborah was interested in knowing how I created that card that had the foil on it. So I'm going to show you how to do that, which was a print and cut. And then I'm also going to show you how to create to make a cut file out of this image okay so you have your image here but before we can do a print and cut and our print and cut will not be to cut this individual image out this Im image will be embedded on a card base that we will cut out from the silhouette cameo and then I will also show you how to, like if you have pre-made card bases, how we could still use this image to do our print and cut so that you can do the foil. So what we need to do here is to change the mat size because we need to do the print and cut. We need to change the mat to eight and a half by 11 because my printer does not print 12 by 12. So we wanna go over here to the design page setting window you go to your drop down and, and select letter. Because we are going to do a print and cut, we also need to turn on the registration marks. And that is here. And you go to your drop down and select your machine. And I have the Cameo. So now we have that all set up. So what I want to do here first, I want to resize this image some because it's going to be too large for my card. So you can just grab it here. And right now this has no cut lines on it because because again it was a printable or, or a clip art or a Google search image and because of that it doesn't have cut lines on it you have to add those but because we are not doing that right now we're fine with using this image just the way it is so what I'm gonna do on, over on my other mat I have a card stock I mean a card base so I'm just going to copy that and bring that over to this mat so here is that let me zoom in a little bit so now I just want to bring over the shoe image and it's still a little too big for me so I'm going to resize this and let's say we want it there so now I want to select it all so I can group it so when we move, everything moves together. Let me close this and zoom out a little bit. So now, here we have our embedded image onto a cut file. This is a silhouette cut file card base. So you would send this through your to your laser printer, and then bring it back to your machine and cut it out. And then using either a mink machine or 
a laminator, lam laminating machine, and I have the Scotch laminating machine, which cost me $19.99 from Target. You would get your foil out, apply that, and send that through to your machine, your laminating machine, and then that's done. You have your foil shoe that's on your card. So let's say that you had a bunch of pre-made cards and you wanted to use those. Well, you could still do that. What you would need to do is to create either create a cut file and you will cut these cut files, send these through your printer and you will fold these or cut, send these through your printer cut them out individually and then foil them individually then apply them to your card base your pre-made card base but what I like to do is to create a layer and then take that layer with the embedded image on it and apply that to my pre-made card base so which how to do that you just come over here and you can select whatever tool you want it you can do the rounded edges or the oval but I'm going to do a rectangle, so I'm going to do a rectangle here. And I want to deselect this, so I'm going to go over and hit that select. And then what I want to do, let's say that my card is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card, which is your A2 size card. So I would like this layered piece to be a quarter of an inch smaller all the way around. So what I'm going to go do here is to size this to four by five and a quarter. So I'm going to go over here to my scale window, take off lock aspect, and I want to change this to four and change this to five, to five point two five zero, and hit apply. So now I have that piece there. I'm just going to ungroup this because I want to grab this image because again I don't want a cut I don't want any cut lines around this and you could resize that if you wanted to the shoe or leave it the way it is let's say that you wanted to add some wording to this beautiful and we're going to resize this, highlight that, go down here, eh, I don't know what we want to change it to, let's start at 36, eh, still a little bigger, 48, yeah, that's good. So I want to center, well, what I want to do is turn off the cut line, so make sure it's selected, let's make that a little bit bigger, make sure that's selected, and you want to go up here and turn off the cut lines and then I want to fill that in black too because I want to foil that as well then that's and I want to make the lines black too on that then okay so I have that beautiful then I want to select that the outside this frame and I want to select beautiful and I want to go over here to my line window and I just want to make sure that that's centered. Then I'm going to highlight everything, right click and do group. So now that everything moves together. So then, close that window. And then I'm going to just make this a little smaller. Let's say I want to do more than one. I want to go up, make sure everything is selected, go up to object and do replicate and fill page. So see now I can now it, I will cut out three. So I'm going to send this to my laser printer, then bring it back to the Cameo and cut it out. And then using your mink mink is that it mink machine or a Scott's laminating machine or any kind of laminating machine, I guess, and get your foil and then you can fold these pieces. So that's how you would create, that's how you would foil those pieces. 
So now, if you wanted to actually create a cut file from, from this image, I'll show you how to do that. So I'm just going to ungroup this. I want to remove this. Bring this over here. Just turn this around so I can see it. All right. I'm going to zoom in. All right, so now from this image, we want to create a cut file. So I want to go up here to my trace window, and I want to hit select trace area. You want to select that. So now I want to go to high pass filter and fill that in. Once that's filled in good, you want to hit trace. We don't hit trace outer edge because we have these inside pieces that we want to cut out. If this was just a pulp, we could hit outer edge because there is no cutouts in a pulp, you know, just your traditional pulp. So once this is all filled in, you want to hit trace. And then once I move that, see there's your cut file. So you don't need this anymore. If, you're, if your objective was just to create a cut file from that image, then you can get rid of this, save your file. Now you have a cut file that you can resize and do whatever you want to with it. You could also, let's say that you did want to do a print and cut, and you wanted to print these out individually with different patterns. What you could do is use your trace tool here. I mean, um, use your fill tool, and you could fill it in. Different colors, different designs, whatever your heart's desire. So that is, so that's your. So this right here is your cut file. And I believe that's it guys. I think I covered, I think I covered everything. If I haven't, you guys leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Deborah, if you have any additional questions, just leave me a comment and I will get back to you. I will put a link in my description box to those three cards that I made as well as a link to the Etsy seller that where you could purchase this cut file. Not cut file, but the printable file from, printable clip art file, whatever she calls it, from. All right, guys. Again, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Bye.